So the basic difference between a soft pull and a hard pull on your credit is the uh, the soft pull isn't going to have any impact on your credit score. It's not it's not looked at by the credit bureau as you out trying to get credit. It's just you taking a look and seeing what your credit is. And from a lender standpoint, the reason a lot of lenders are uh, moving forward with the soft pull, yeah, that's a that's a growing trend. You're starting to hear more and more uh, about that. But there's a caution there also that I want to talk to you about. Exactly. Well, it's the reason that 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 I'm not a big advocate of the soft pull because what happens is if you move forward with the soft pull before closing at some point, you can't close with the soft pull. Right. So at some point prior to closing, and from what I'm gathering from the the lenders that I'm here speak about this, is that somewhere within a week to maybe 10 or 12 days before closing, they want to go ahead and uh, actually pull your credit, which is a hard pull, which is the credit report that they can use to get through the final stages of the underwriting system and get the loan closed. You don't know exactly. So what happens if you pull the credit with a soft credit pull at the beginning of the process, and then you wait three weeks later, wait, you wait three weeks. What happens if you, what happens if you begin the process with a soft pull and everything looks good? You're moving forward to order the appraisal. Exactly. Exactly. If something changes at the end, who's paying the price? Well, there's, there's really only one reason that that lenders want to do the soft pull as opposed to the uh, real credit pull. And so that is to protect you and them from trigger leads. So a, a trigger lead is the credit bureau essentially spies on you and they know who takes a look at your credit. If you're buying a car, they know that you're probably at a car lot. Same thing with the mortgage. So if your credit gets pulled by a mortgage company, they deduce that you're probably going to be in the market for a mortgage. And that can be valuable. In, okay, so y- your phone will blow up. I've, I've heard as much as 100 different lenders calling. So imagine the, the, the credit bureau will sell your name to uh, 100 different lenders. And so they're making money hand over fist in that situation. Which, you know, the, the money is, an, is, is inconsequential uh, in my my way of looking at it. Exactly. Just. Yes, it, it's a huge nuisance. And but from a lender standpoint, uh, they don't want to have to compete. Exactly. Exactly. So uh, I would definitely be careful of of anyone that told you that they were going to work off of a soft pull because if something blew up at the last minute or something, I would be careful of working with someone. Uh, I would be careful of a soft pull, and especially if they were going to work on uh, processing your file and moving towards closing and only pulling. Well, what happens if what happens if something shows up on your credit that's unexpected? It, it, it could be it could be a mistake. It could be a old medical collection, or uh, there's a number of different things that could wind up happening to your credit report from the time that you start the process to the time that they do the hard pull where you might've been approved at the beginning, but all of a sudden with the new credit information, you're no longer approved. I think it's dangerous. Uh, Most of the time, I think you're going to be okay. But on that, that odd occasion, someone's going to lose. Someone's not going to be able to close on a home that they thought they were going to close on. Yeah, that's just my take on it, you know. So uh, obviously, if that's what you want uh, in terms of a soft pull, we'll do that for you. It's definitely your decision. Uh, but I, I just wanted you to be uh, advised of my concerns with it anyway.